In this example, we're going to be setting the control lines for a load word instruction. Our load word instruction will take a base address from the registers, add to that the sign extended immediate, fetch something from memory, and store that result back into a register. First thing I need to do is calculate the memory address that I'm interested in. That involves adding a register to our sign extended immediate. And to get the sign extended immediate, I will need to set my ALU source multiplexer to 1. I'm going to write the results of my load back to the register, so I will also set the reg write signal to 1. And the thing that I want to send back to the registers is the data that I'm loading out of memory. So that will also be 1. The load word instruction is an I-type instruction, so when it needs a destination register, it puts it in the RT field. So I will select the RT field by setting the register destination multiplexer to 0. This is a load word instruction, so we are reading something out of memory. So I'll set that signal to 1. But I'm not writing anything to memory. I'm not branching, and I'm not jumping. So all three of those signals get set to zero. And there's the control bits for a load word instruction.